All right, so this is what goes into designing a uh, crown um, to my demo wing scanner. I'm working on a full contour crown here. I uh, punch in the dentist's name. It already comes up with all the parameters for that dentist when I enter that. I enter the patient. tooth number and shade uh, just keeps it in order for me and then over here has crowns different materials that I use um, tell it I want to do it a full crown to be a full zirconia number 20 so find number 20 order. Now, I put the physical model that I made out of stone in this fancy little um, holder and that will go in my scanner. So I put it in my scanner now. It's a laser scanner. Click on the scanner icon. drag the work order over and it asks me what I want to do with it. Uh, all this is guides for um, letting the scanner what I want scanned. Uh, it knows what I need done. So okay, and it scans that portion. Alright, now you designate crown number 20 um, with your arrow. It needs the occlusion antagonist. So we take this out and I'll put on the physical antagonist or occlusion for uh, the scan. Get the bite.
Okay, once it's loaded in the scanner. So it did the occlusion. I'll take the model out of the scanner again. And I'm going to do a precise scan on the die itself. That is where the tooth will go on the die itself. And I put this on a multi die plate um, for a precise scan. So this is just showing me where it is on my die plate. Start the scan. While that's doing the scan, I put on my occlusion, take off the model, and put the occlusion on uh, my model holder for needing a precise scan on my uh, antagonist occlusion. So it is doing the precise die scan there. Changes different colors as it gets closer to completion. There, now it's done. So then we can load the antagonist. And we slide our guide around, the same guide that we used, and it remembers where the um, model is. So from here, while that's doing that scan, we can go and we can check the margin. And the automatic margin is one of the best ways of doing it, but this is basically telling me where the crown is going to seat um, all the way here, and I can adjust by grabbing these little dots. And moving them if I want to, um, but it generally 95% of the time does a perfect job. So, um, that is how I want it. This is for the insertion angle, uh, how it's going to relate with um, the other teeth around it, how it's going to slide in. And that looks very good. Then this is going to be taking uh, readings, give it ideas of what is around it for when it actually designs the crown. Marginal ridges, um, I basically just go with the contact points, marginal ridges. Uh, if you give it too much information, it does a little bit too much. So we're just uh, waiting for the, there we go occlusion scan. Now we do this precise repositioning, a three-point repositioning, and, and what I've done is drilled little holes 
uh, like indents into this crown or this uh, model over here so that um, I can precisely make a match up. You have a three point deal where you click in the little holes and then down here it repositions, um, meshes them together perfectly. So there, we're ready to go on to the next level. Now it's going to compute the crown um, that is should go in that space. done that so here we go there so there's the crown here I re remove this you can um, and then there's m many different things here that I can do to adjust it the red is where it's hitting I can twist the crown um, broaden the contacts, uh, make it more, you know, just the perfect size, um, check the occlusion, don't want it to really hit, um, so I can go back and forth with different, different tools here, smoothing it out. raising it in spots and pushing it down others. Like I said, the red is touching, so I don't really want that, because in the patient's mouth, if you just take it out of occlusion, it'll be perfect. can take the model itself away to work on it a little bit easier look at it um, in that light model back in here the contact is light I want to broaden that where it's gonna touch up against the other teeth smooth a little bit. Smooth this down here a little bit. Other than that, for that space and that crown, that's basically how I'm going to do it. That's okay, and it sets that up. Then I go back to adjust the contact points with the other teeth. It just makes it so that when it's done milling, it's all um, slides in there perfect for me, and I don't have to mess around with it much. And there, all done. Route it forward, and I can mill it now. So that's basically what there is um, to create a uh, crown on the dental wing scanner. And uh, uh, it takes me about 15 minutes to do each one. And I do a bunch of them every week.